everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. Let's say hello to John Baptiste. Hello, John. Whoa, did you hear Gladys Knight? I, I did not. She sung the anthem at the NBA All-Star Game this weekend. Man, that anthem. Ooh. No, I did not hear that. You know, the only thing I was paying attention to this weekend was the Harry and Meghan interview and the fact that you won a Critics Choice Award for the soundtrack, the score, you and Atticus Ross and, and uh, uh, Reznor, yeah, Trent Reznor for Soul. for Soul. Congratulations. You're racking them up. Man, it, it feels so amazing. We put so much into that film, and I'm just so happy. It, I don't even have the words to express how happy I am about that. It's amazing. Well, evidently, a lot of other people are happy, too, because they want to tell you by giving you awards. <laughs> so the happiness <laughs> is spreading, John. It. Happiness is spreading. Yes. <laughs> yep, yep. You uh, know. John, do you have, do you have anything? Do you have anything uh, for International Women's Day that might uh, that might fit uh, on your piano tonight? Yeah, you know, let me play a song for my mother. Oh, beautiful! And uh, this this is her favorite Mary J. Blige song, "Real Love." <laughs> Thank you, John. Say Ooh, hi to your mom for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John Baptiste, everybody. Big news in the world of basketball. You know how a lot of stadiums have kiss cams? Well, the Milwaukee Bucks have decided to replace theirs with more socially distanced options, like a elbow-bumping cam, a hand-washing cam, and something called a hand-sanitizer cam, which went viral when fans pointed out it looked disturbingly not good. Okay, this is fun. You gotta catch the hand sanitizer, y'all, and get your hands nice and clean. There we go. You're tripping. You're tripping. Oh, it's all over you. You may need to wash your hair out a little bit. Looking good. Great job, Bango. Looking good. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. You got it. You got it. Jimmy, that's enough. That's enough. I don't, I don't, I don't, can, I don't think we can even show that on CBS. Can we blur this, please? No, that's worse. That's not helping. That's worse. Obviously, the hand sanitizer cam turned out to be a little more suggestive than they intended, but it explained the Bucks' new safety instructions. Wear a mask, stay six feet apart, enable private browsing. Friendly reminder, it's important to not compare yourself to the hand sanitizer cam. A lot of bottles are much smaller than they appear. Following the viral footage, the Bucks announced that they do not plan to use the hand sanitizer cam again. Here to weigh in on the controversy is the star of the hand sanitizer cam, Sanny, the sanitizer bottle. Welcome to the show, Sanny. Hey, Steven, put up your hands and close your eyes. I'm ready to squirt. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I, just, I just washed up, even sang happy birthday twice. It's your birthday? I've got something special for you. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that, Sanny, what are your thoughts on this controversy? I think people need to get their minds out of the gutter. Keeping hands clean is my job. It's my hand job. Sanny, come on. What? It's just that when I see dirty, dirty people, I burst with excitement. I want this pandemic to have a happy ending. Sanny, you've gone too far. People are misinterpreting your message. Haven't you Googled what people are saying about you? No, why? What are they saying? Oh, God, that's filthy. I got to clean this. Hooray! Sandy, before you go, any thoughts on Oprah's interview with Harry and Meghan? I don't think I should weigh in. Prince Andrew's an old friend of mine. Sandy, the hand sanitizer, everyone. We'll be right back. <laughs> 